Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel. In this tutorial series, we've been covering the Flame 2024 improvements to batch paint. This video will get you up to speed on what's changed with paint strokes, selecting multiple paint strokes, changing the stroke order, the delete and clear workflow, and viewing stroke modifications in the viewport. It was one of the most requested features on Flame Feedback, and it is now implemented. In Flame 2024, you'll find that when you go to the Paint Nodes Edit list, you can now select multiple paint strokes. You can select them individually with a Command or Control click, select a range of strokes with Shift click, or use the Select All button at the bottom of the screen to select all of the strokes. With the strokes selected, you can then make modifications to them a very common culprit being changing the range from a single frame to sequence. Previously, you needed to select them individually or take advantage of Python to make changes like this. Once you have some paint strokes selected, there's a lot you can do. The eye icon allows you to show and hide your strokes, which isn't new, but it represents a significant and much needed consolidation to the show, hide, and solo buttons to clean up the user interface. You might notice a few new arrows to the left of the edit list. These can be used to reorder your strokes, also known as changing their priority. The arrow at the top with a line above it sends the selected strokes to the top of the list, and the arrow at the bottom sends to the bottom of the list. The arrows in between allow you to nudge the strokes up and down one layer at a time. And finally, you can also drag and drop your strokes in a way that's a little more visible than it used to be. The delete stroke and clear canvas options work a little differently than they used to. With a stroke selected, you can use this delete button at the bottom of the edit list to delete any selected stroke. Alternatively, if you use the drop down menu here, you'll notice there's a new option available, clear selected strokes at current frame, which takes your selected strokes, duplicates them, and adjusts their ranges to remove the strokes from whatever frame you're on. This works a little different from the canvas delete button, which is more of an overall adjustment. Your two options here are to clear all strokes on the current frame, regardless of your selection, or to delete all strokes, giving you a clean slate to restart your work. You might have noticed this new animation section with start and end fields. This, once again, isn't a new feature, but what is new is that you can access this information without opening the animation editor. Now, it's right here in the paint interface, and it is indeed keyframable, which makes it easier than ever to add an animated stroke or write-on effect. When you have multiple strokes selected, if you take a look over at the edit list, you'll notice that one of the new strokes has a yellow box around it. This is what we can call your primary selection, and all of the other selected strokes are your secondary selection. Your primary selection is what dictates which values are displayed in the paint controls, as well as the green edit box in the viewport. Here, I'll multi-select some strokes, note that my last selection is a color source, and we can see even though some of what I've selected involves the clone paint mode, the offset values are grayed out since my primary selection, the color paint mode, doesn't deal with offsets. When I multi-select a recursive clone stroke and that newly selected stroke becomes my primary selection, I see that stroke's offset values are now available to modify. If we take a look at the axis tab, you'll see that when I have a multi-selection of strokes, I'm able to modify their position, scale, and rotation. Previously, you were able to do this through their edit box interface by simply dragging the green box using the on-screen rotate, scale, and transform tools. But that came at the cost of not being able to see them update live. With the introduction of this axis tab, you can now adjust your strokes and the result will update live in the viewport. This is controlled in the node prefs by the regen setting here, which can be turned off for performance if needed. If we head back to the paint tab, I'll direct your attention to the select reveals button. This is a replacement to the Hide button, which was used when you wanted to hide the strokes created with the Reveal Paint mode associated with a particular source. You would hide and unhide a source, and it would then hide and unhide all of the reveal strokes associated with that source. The new workflow, under the context of being able to select multiple strokes, is that you select the source in question, select the Select Reveals button, and use the eye icon to hide the strokes in question associated with the selected source. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. And until next time, thanks a bunch for watching.